And moving on to Pakistan, where Imran Khan appears to be losing control as the Prime Minister appealed for calm after religious groups went on to the streets in several parts of Pakistan. This after the Supreme Court acquitted and ordered the release of Asia Bibi, a Christian woman sentenced to death over blasphemy allegations. And now the protesters have blocked major roads in Karachi, in Lahore and Islamabad. Pakistan government is struggling to maintain law and order. This also, as globally designated terrorist Hafiz Saeed has announced country-wide protests in Pakistan after the Friday press. Aditya Rajkol, our senior associate editor, is joining us on the phone line. And before that, let's cut across to this reaction coming in from Imran Khan where he appeals for calm. ان عناصر کو اپیل کرتا ہوں کہ ریاست سے نہ ٹکرانا میں آپ کو یہ اپیل کرتا ہوں کہ اس ملک کی خاطر جو کہ مشکل برات سے نکل رہا ہے اور اللہ کا شکر ہے آگے اچھا وقت آ رہا ہے آپ اپنی سیاست چمکانے کے لیے اپنے ووٹ بینک کے لیے اس ملک کو نقصان نہ پہنچائیں اگر آپ یہ کریں گے میں آپ کو یہ واضح کر دوں کہ ریاست اپنی ذمہ داری پوری کرے گی آج اپنی عوام سب سے یہ کہنا چاہتا ہوں ان کسی صورت آپ نے ان کو آپ کو اکسانے نہیں دینا یہ کوئی اسلام کی خدمت نہیں ہو رہی یہ ملک سے دشمنی ہو رہی ہے یہ ملک دشمن عناصر اس طرح کی باتیں کرتے ہیں And let's go across to Aditya now. Aditya, take us through the details. We've seen how Imran Khan is appealing for peace. But Hafiz Saeed is further instigating protesters. Is this likely to escalate even further? Well, that's right. It is likely to escalate because uh, it was on expected lines. Uh, there was an unprecedented verdict by the Supreme Court of Pakistan, something that uh, you know people really weren't expecting. Uh, that uh, completely acquitted Asiya Bibi, who was inside the prison for eight years. In 2010, she was charged with blasphemy. Uh, in, uh, she was told that she disrespected Prophet Muhammad and Islam as well. Those were fake and concocted charges. There were campaigns across the globe in Pakistan as well, where they said that a minority Christian lady is being uh, t- uh, tortured, is being uh, harassed, only because there's pressure from the extremists and radicals. And now we've been told that there have been protests immediately after uh, this Supreme Court verdict came in. Uh, we received, uh, you know, uh, images and videos coming in from across Pakistan. The spontaneous protests and the threats are being issued by extremists and radicals. In all probability, after her release, Asia TV will be moving out of Pakistan. But as of now, a high alert has been declared across Pakistan. Uh, the security forces are out on the streets. Also, uh, the jamaat ud chief and the globally designated terrorist Hafez Saeed has given out a call uh, in a statement for protests after Friday prayers tomorrow. So uh, certainly the situation seems to be going out of hand. Mm. And it's not just Hafiz Saeed. Radicals and extremists across Pakistan have a free run only because, uh, you know, Imran Khan has been trying to pamper them and trying to give them a free run across the state. So we'll have to wait and watch how things develop. As of now, it does seem that it's going to be a showdown on the streets of Pakistan in the next few days. Right, Aditya, thank you for joining us and getting us all those details.